We're starting off our coverage here at Freedom Fest, and my first guest is a presenter at Freedom Fest, Dr. Barbara Kolm. She's the president of the Hayek Institute and the director of the Austrian Economic Center. So I'm basically with the Austrian. Austrian, thank you for being with me. It's a pleasure to be here with you at Kitco. Now, Barbara, I know you've been famous in the past for having said that uh, we might, uh, that you didn't have much hope uh, for Europe, but I know your talk today was centered around that. Uh, how do you see Europe right now? Well, Europe has, a, a, if you can see it as a, a, the glass half full or rather the glass half empty, we see uh, the nation states who are a big, who are in big problems because of the sovereign debt crisis that has not been solved yet. However, the enterprises are doing well. Productivity is growing in a couple of countries, which is most important. Uh, but uh, the framework that they need is still not uh, reformed. So, Barbara, am I sensing a little bit more optimism than in the past? Well, optimism, we always have to be optimistic right. as Austrian economists, by the way. But uh, some things have helped uh, to uh, solve problems or put them on the right mm -hmm. path again. However, real reforms are not done yet, and this is what we all wish for. Now, Barbara, do you think that Mario Draghi and the ECB have been doing anything right, and uh, what would you be doing differently? Well, I would not print that much money that Mario Draghi has been doing, and he recently announced that he will print uh, one trillion more in the next two years. And what this this is definitely not the the task of the or the only task of the ECB. It's also uh, there to make sure that uh, uh, that the inflation stays stable and will not rise. And this will not happen if you put that much money into the market. Well, what would be an alternative then? Well, the alternative would have been to really do the reforms and to go through structural reforms, which hurt, uh, also to let some banks go bust, mm -hmm. and also to let some countries go bust, and make sure that those problems are solved, finally. And now we have only prolonged them for a certain time, and uh, you can only do this to a certain extent. Barbara, do you think that one day we might not see the euro? Could we see European countries returning to their respective currencies? Well, if you see, the, if you look at that, uh, how, for example, Angela Merkel tried the fate of Euro, of Europe, to the Euro, uh, then you know this is a real political decision. The entire Euro thing is a political decision, and not what economists would have done. Uh, so, if you if you untie this, it will take a long time, and I don't see this now, especially after the European elections. Uh, we we have five years of more of the same, literally. Banking union, European stability mechanism, spending more of other people's money. Now, last year we had seen Cyprus sell uh, their gold reserves to pay off uh, their debt. Do you think we might see other European countries do this as well? Uh, it would be an option, or it could be an option. A couple of countries have been thinking about that, but um, not yet. All right. Barbara, finally, let's get your thoughts on gold, uh, since this is what our audience is interested in. Any thoughts on the yellow metal? Well, it's the most precious metal that has that we have, and it has been there to protect our wealth for a very long uh, time. And this is what our presence, uh, parents and the other generations have all learned. And uh, it still has not changed, and as, especially if we cannot rely on politics as we do do these days, at least in Europe, then we need alternatives to make sure our wealth is protected. On that note, thank you so much for joining me today. It is a pleasure to be with you. And thanks for watching our kickoff coverage here at Freedom Fest in Las Vegas. We'll have more for you the next few days, so stay tuned to kickco.com. In the meantime, you can email us any comments or questions at the link below. Thanks for watching.